Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, hold on, watch this. The scripture comes from Psalms 8. O oh Lord, our, oh, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. You have exalted your majesty above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babies and sucklings, you have fashioned praise because of your foes to silence the hostile and vengeful. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him or the son of man that you should care for him? Okay, so God is saying for somebody, um, you are waiting on a miracle. You are waiting on a miracle. You are waiting on something big. And um, I just feel like this is not something like a small thing this is a miracle miracle that you know that only god can perform and god is saying hold on like you know like um like they're saying hold my drink like god is like hold on just one second watch this watch this i got this i got this i got this i love when i get messages like this because every time god say something like this he show up and show out and i really feel like he about to show up and show out he about to flex real quick okay um, like it says, out of the mouths of babies and sucklings, you have fashioned praise because of your foes to silence the hostile and the vengeful. God is saying that somebody is in a position to where they are like on their last straw. They are on their last bit of hope. And, you know, they feel as though their foes are rejoicing. They feel as though people who are seeking out vengeance against them are rejoicing because of the position that they are in. God is saying that he is about to show up and show out for you because he is not going to allow someone that sees you as their enemy, um, you know, simultaneously seeing God as their enemy because the battle does not belong to us. It belongs to God and anybody that is coming against us is coming against God. He said he took that personally. He said, hold on, watch this, because I'm about to show out and show up and show out real quick. I'm about to flex real quick. I'm about to like he is really about to show out for you. How glorious is your name over all the earth? You have exalted your majesty above the heavens. I just feel like God is like like this is going to be something that is just like breathtaking, something that that could possibly just have you leave you astonished like this is something that's going to be shocking this is going to be something that is going to be big and i don't know exactly who this is for or exactly what it is that you're looking for what you're waiting on but god said hold on if you just hold on a little bit longer you will see hold on hold on hold on hold on because you know god's word will never return to him void and he's saying that right now, his word will not return to him void. When he promises you something, regardless if it takes a day, a week, a month, a year, five years, 10 years, he is going to get that to you. And it all depends on timing. And it's not always our timing. It has to be in God's timing. It has to be in divine timing. And um, you will understand once it happens, you know, um, there are so many things that happen in my life. Um, even just what I'm doing right now, prophesying on YouTube. If I would have tried to do this 10 years ago, I was not ready. If I would have tried to do this 20 years ago, definitely not ready. Like it's just to say that everything happens in a time that it's supposed to happen. And, um, even with my car accident, you know, as traumatizing as it was, I know that it happened because God wanted to sit me down because I was doing too much. I was moving too fast. I didn't have time to just sit and talk to God until the day before my accident when I repented of everything that I had going on. And right after I repented of everything I had going on, I got in that car accident and God sat me down. And there were so many days I would be in that hospital bed by myself. And God would just start talking to me, talking to me, foot on my neck, talking to me, 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 talking to me. And sometimes certain things happen in our life because God says that we need to sit down and we need to listen. And there are some like some of us, we still I'm stubborn. 
stubborn, stubborn. I know I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. And I was at, so stubborn at that point in time in my life that God was like, nah, okay, I don't want to hurt you, but you need to sit down and you need to listen to me. And like, I, I feel like for some of y'all, there were things that God wanted to show you. There were things that God wanted you to see that you did not know about. And had he gave you whatever it is that you are wanting, that you are waiting for, that he has promised you before you knew about these other things, you could potentially mess up the thing that he has for you. Because God cannot say that. How do I say it? It's like there's certain things that you can't receive until certain things happen. That's just like <clears throat> when I was young. I drove a Toyota Camry. Wasn't even my, I drove my mother's Toyota Camry, okay, that she had secretly given to me without telling me that she was going to give it to me because she didn't want me to set a car up. Now, if I would have had my Cadillac when I was in my 20s, my early 20s, me and my friends would have towed that car up, period. Point like period, 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 period. It would have been burn marks all in the floor, <coughs> all in the seats ashes every it just would have been a mess it would have been a mess i know that car would have been a mess and it's not because i don't love my friends it's not because i don't think that i think some kind of way about them i just know how we were okay we were young and we was just exploring the city and just acting a complete fool to be honest to be real we were we 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 was everywhere like every day of the week we had somewhere to go and we wasn't coming home until the sun was up so you know I know, I know. The way that, that Toyota <laughs> that Toyota went through it, that car would have been done. So God did not give me my dream car when I was like 21, 22, <coughs> 18, 19. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't, even my first car, I had a nice car. I had a Dodge Avenger. I towed that car up. So it, it like, if I would have got that car too early, I would have towed that car up, period. It would have been over. And ain't no telling the kind of places that I like to go, what would have happened to that car, okay? Mess around would have came out the club, the car gone, like, to be honest. But, you know, I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready. I wasn't ready. And when I was ready, I wasn't really interested in even really going to the club like that. By the time I actually got my dream car, I was going to fashion shows. I was going to... <clears throat> like viewings I, I was just going to like other kind of stuff i wasn't going to the kind of stuff me and my friends like to go to um i was more so going out to eat taking my son to the movies taking my son to the mall going to the mall with my son is just have like we, we just had like that kind of stuff going on when i had that car i wasn't really going i don't think i didn't go out very much in that car to be honest to be real and you know sometimes um I get a little emotional about it because that is the car that I always wanted to go to the club. I always wanted to, like, when I get by Cadillac, when I get by Pete car, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I got that car. I didn't do none of that. <coughs> and I was gone. And y'all already know, I think I said this before I said it again, I have no intentions of getting another Cadillac as of right now. Um, if I ever have money like that to really just sit there and, pour money into a car an old car and fix it up like that again maybe but at this point in my life i really just i need something to get me from a point a to point b and that's like really what i need right now but um in reality that was a dream of mine i always wanted a slab i had a slab i enjoyed my slab i didn't really get to do what i wanted to do i didn't go to no slab shows i didn't go to no car shows i barely even went to um when I had the uh on the different things they had going on on MLK in that car. I don't think I ever went to any of that stuff in that car. Like not that car. My three I had a blue Chrysler 300 that I did go to some things in, but as far as my Cadillac, I did not. And um I just feel like God is saying, God is telling me to say this to tell you that there's a reason why you did not receive it at the time that you wanted it. There were things that you had planned 
that did not align with whatever this blessing is. There were some things that you wanted to do that you could not do with this blessing. There, um, you may not have grown enough. There were things that you needed to learn. There were things that you needed to see. Could even be people that you needed to meet before you receive this blessing. Because this blessing is something that needs to be stable is something i hear stabilized like this is something that's going to be steady this is not something that's going to be here and then gone it's not going to be one day it's here and then one day it's gone god saying that's not what he he's not going to bless you with something that you wanted this bad for you to get it and tear it up for you to get it and misuse it for you to get it and just uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's coming. God is saying it's coming. It's coming. Hold your horses. It's coming. He about to show up and show out for you. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that donates. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everybody that got me and my husband so for our wedding. I love y'all so much. If you want to do so, you can use the uh, description box. It is not something that you have to do. It is not required. This is just for those who want to, okay? Thank you if you do. Thank you if you don't. I love you regardless, and I'll see you later. Deuces.